Well, that last video rendered, I started thinking, oh gosh, I bet some students didn't listen and thought, oh, I'll just drag this down onto Photoshop. And if you do that, you get a smaller version of the image. You want the large version of the image to be drug onto Photoshop. How do you know if you don't remember? Well, back here in Photoshop, image, right here, see image in the menu? Image, image size. And you're gonna do this so much, you're gonna to wanna to learn this shortcut, Option Command I, but image, image size, is gonna bring up this dialog box. Does yours say 1920 or 1024? If it says 1024, close this, don't resize it, because you'd be up sampling it and you'd be lower in the quality, even though Photoshop's really good at this, you'd still be lower in the quality and you don't wanna do that. So you close this document, don't save it, come back here, click on this, drag that down on Photoshop, and then you can check by opening up image, image size, and you'd say 1920, okay, whew, that was close. Okay, now let's get on with the show. Boy, I'm a big fan in saving time. And wouldn't it be nice if you could just go like that and you would have, you would be in the camera off filter working on your object and your image. And uh, if you head back to Photoshop, I'm gonna hit escape, you'd notice that, hey, we got another new layer. It's not named, but it is a smart object. Okay, skipping the naming process is part of my speed working and I'll name files after the fact because I wanna make sure that what I do to it is something I wanna keep before I rename things. So this thing, well, let's throw this away. I could undo a bunch of times, but let's work together. This is our original image, the original pixels. And if, and if we want to preserve these so we have a before and after. So we could, right click there's probably a right click and duplicate layer it's probably right here it you could drag this image down onto this icon but let's learn a shortcut that we're going to practice on every single photoshop document we work on this entire year except we'll do a better way after a while command j command j jumps whatever is on this layer to a new layer makes a copy of it on the new layer. I'm mean, gonna hit Command Z. Why don't you do the same thing? Then hit Command Z, J, Command Z, Command J. Okay, so now you practice this. Practice, practice. That's an important part of the Mac Lab. Get it into your muscle memory so you know what to do. How do I make that new layer? How do I jump it to a new, jump, jump. Ah, Command J, you got it, okay? And if you can't remember, right click, but practice this because in a few months, if you're still hunting and pecking, I'm going to be asking how come you didn't practice. Now, we want to convert this to a smart object, and I always do it this way, and I'm going to show you how to create this custom shortcut. But for right now, the best way is probably to right-click. And I never right-click. But don't right-click on the image, because if you right-click on the image, you get this stuff, and that's not going to help us. So right-click out here. Either, it doesn't matter, anywhere outside that image and you get this great big long thing and right here is convert to smart object. And when you do that, you get this cool little icon and it's cool because this is a smart object. When you apply filters to it, this next step is not going to affect the pixels. It's going to be completely editable, non-destructive, all kinds of good stuff. You don't understand what I'm talking about. But in time, you are going to go, whoa, smart objects rock. They're the best thing since sliced bread. And I know your grandma said that, not, not me. Okay, so um, now that we have this smart object on its own layer, we have the background layer preserved. Let's go ahead. Double click on that background layer and let's just name it BG, huh? And that's, that's actually, it's our original. It's not a background layer. So we're going to name it original. Scotch, go make up your mind. Okay. Hey, I make mistakes all the time. I'm not perfect. Come up here. Make sure you're not down here. Make sure you're up on layer one, which we're going to change the name of. And we're going to go to filter, camera raw filter. And you may notice your shortcut says shift command A. There's no option there. How come Scotch goes is different? We're going to change it. And I'm going to explain why. And well, you saw why. 
how I got a new layer, it turned into a smart object, or merged everything on that new layer, turned into a smart object, and went straight into Camera Raw. And I didn't change my left hand on these keyboards. I was just tapping different letters with my right. So we're going into Camera Raw, and this is cool. And you might say, ah, what's all this? And then, you know, hey, what's all this? There's stuff all over the place. What is all that? Get into basic and take a breath and say, we're going to start working in Photoshop. Well, let's do that in the next video.